Hi, welcome to my video. Um, you probably know what this is all about, seeing as you're here, but today I'm going to be running through my kit list. Tomorrow I'm heading off to do the Isle of Skye trail up in Scotland. It's a six or seven day trail, so I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be camping for probably six nights. And I've just packed up my backpack and I thought, why not get it all out again? to show you what I got in here, so I can have to pack it all up again. I don't know. Anyway, I see a lot of these videos doing this and I always find it useful to see what other people have got in there. So I thought I'd show you mine. Um, so without further ado, let's crack on. Uh, I just wanna say full disclaimer at the beginning, this is a very budget backpacker friendly kit list. Um, I'm not someone that goes hiking, through hiking all the time. I don't have the money to be spending on really high-end equipment, ultralight gear. So this is just what I've been able to gather over the years on a budget. And I live in the UK, so most of these things are just from Amazon, Go Outdoors, Sports Direct, those kind of places, right? Um, so yeah, this is what I got, let's crack on. So first and foremost, I've kept these things outside because this is what I'm gonna be wearing tomorrow. I'm getting a flight up to Inverness. These are my hiking boots. They are from Go Outdoors. Uh, they are Merrill hiking boots. Uh, they are brand new. They were about 108 pounds. So a bit pricey, but I needed new boots and these look really good and I want something that's really, really waterproof, especially in sky. So I'm looking forward to trying those out. They're really comfy actually. I've got my jacket, my down jacket. This was from Decathlon. This is a Simond down jacket. Um, pretty good actually, it was about 50 quid. Uh, but I obviously, that can, that can easily pack in there if I need it to, but I'm gonna wear that tomorrow. Um, my pants, so just to say, these pants are going to be my travelling pants, okay? I'm going to wear them on the way and then I'm going to wear them when I finish so I have something nice and fresh to wear. Um, these are my trousers, hiking trousers. These are really good actually, I really like these. these are, they're from Decathlon, so nothing expensive. Um, I like them because they've got this zip for uh, useful things and they also turn into shorts so I'll basically be wearing those for the next eight days nothing else apart from when I'm sleeping obviously and then I've just bought myself this Sun hoodie um, I got this from Amazon I see a lot of hikers wearing these so I thought I'd give it a go but supposedly it's it's still you know it's lightweight but it can protect you from the Sun a bit more and obviously from the wind a bit more. So I think that was about 20 quid from Amazon. So I'm gonna wear that, see how I get on with that. Again, these are my socks for tomorrow. I'm gonna to wear these on the way and on the way back so my feet have something not sweaty to change into. And a sun hat, which was from Decathlon, about two pounds, like super lightweight. And then just um, headphones. I like wired headphones because you don't waste battery or you don't have to charge them up at all. Um, and then my wallet and obviously I've got some cards and some cash in case I need that. Right, onto the backpack. Here I've got a sit mat. It's brand new. I've never used one of these before but I figured why not try it Like, because it's always nice to not have a wet butt. So keep that separate then on the outside here I've got my eight 800 milliliter water bottle which I will fill up at you know rivers and streams and things as much as I can and then I will drink it through this and this is a soya water filter um, can't remember how much it costs but I'll put it up on, on the screen now uh, basically it's really good essential piece of kit really because you just drink drink the water through that you don't have to worry about um, purifying the water uh, at all but having said that 
in this little pocket down here, this little hip pocket, I've got a few items that go with that. So one of those is some water purification tablets in case I need them. Uh, tick, tick removers, so they're really good to have handy. I've got those on Amazon as well. Some Vaseline, because I find I get really dry lips. Um, some sun lip cream. And then I've got just got some shades so I can look cool on the trail. And to protect my eyes, obviously. Um, just in this little pocket here, I've got a snood. So this is probably not essential, but I find that when it gets really windy, uh, you just it's really good to like be able to protect your mouth, your face a bit more, something like that. And, and in Scotland, there's going to be a lot of midges, so if that's happening, I can just throw this on and protect my face and my neck a little bit more before I have time to get the spray out. Um, okay, so that's what's on the outside. Well, just inside here, we've got my waterproof trousers. They're a bit on the heavy side, probably to be honest, but they're the best thing I've got and they are very, very waterproof these. So, no complaints about those. My waterproof coat. Now this was from Decathlon as well. 50 or 60 pounds, I believe. No, yes, something like that, 60 pounds. So this is new. Um, but I know the sky is going to be wet, so I know that I definitely need something really, really waterproof. So, a little bit on the bulky side, but that is essential. No getting around it. That is absolutely essential. And then, on the other side, I have got a plug because I forgot to pack that properly earlier. And then because I'm getting a flight, I've got a few bits in a plastic bag so that I can just take it to you through security easily. Um, I've got toothpaste, uh, some deodorant, sun cream, and some insect repellent. All of those obviously are essentials for any trip and then a rain backpack protector. Right, let's get into the nitty gritty. Let's open up this bag. Right, so this, I forgot to say, this is a 60 litre backpack from Decathlon. I think I got it several years ago for like 50 pounds or something. I probably want to get something that's more geared towards actual hiking. But as I mentioned, this is fine for me at the moment. It's been, it's taken me along some good trips, to be honest. It's um, pretty durable, so I'm pretty happy with it overall. Um, this is an extra, uh, well, a camel pack, water bladder, whatever you want to call it. Um, th there's going to be a day where there's not going to be a lot of streams. I'm pretty sure, so I'm going to have to um, fill this up for that day, just make sure I have enough water. This is two liters. So yeah, I'm just taking that along. And then we've got, um, right, food. At the top we got food. So I've split everything into sections in my backpack. So let's have a look what's in the lunch bag first. I've got trail mix, obviously I need trail mix. I've got some short cakes here, shortbread, biscuits, some chorito, because I like to just have something tasty that isn't just biscuits and nuts and things. Um, I've got like six of these energy bars keep me going 
I've got a few of these if I can be bothered to make some soup while I'm actually walking during the day. And then I've got some jelly babies. Because it's slow releasing energy apparently. And then just a couple of other things I've got in here. I've got a plastic bag and that is a dedicated bin bag. So I just put all my rubbish in there and then uh, when I get to a bin, empty it out. Um, yeah, leave no trace. Um, and then I've got a few of these clips. Like, these are really useful and one thing that I've picked up from a number of trips now. Um, there's nothing more annoying than opening um, you know, some trail mix or something and then just stuffing it into your bag and the trail mix going everywhere. So these are really lightweight and just super easy to just clip your, your bits of wrappers you know, together. Okay, so that's my day um, yeah, my day food, my night, my evening food bag. So firstly we've got, okay, so three of these, if you don't know, these are adventure food dehydrated dinners, it's super easy um, to make. Basically you just have to boil water and put the water in there and leave it for like 10 minutes and it cooks. They're, they're a little bit on the expensive side, they're like £5.50 but it's good to have a proper dinner in the evening and it's something to look forward to, isn't it? And considering the amount of food that you get, they're not that heavy, they're, they're about 140 grams. So I would recommend those and I would recommend these adventure food because they're a little bit on the lighter side than some of the other ones that you can get. Um, Aside from that, in the evening, that's basically what I have, and then I just treat myself to some like Snickers or something. Um, breakfast. This is my breakfast bag, which I also just keep in here, but separate. And again, I've got three of these. So I've got, basically I've got enough food for around three days worth of trekking. And then after that, we'll have to top up that. So this is muesli and two expedition breakfasts. And then I've just got some, some dried mango, because it's nice to have some fruit in the morning. And obviously, and like, I've got like six of these coffee, Nescafe coffee, because there's nothing better than Waking up in the morning and having a coffee while you're looking out across the sea on a mountain top in Scotland. Always need to have a coffee in the morning. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Okay. And then, obviously, my cooking equipment. I've got my jet boil. This is a new piece of equipment for me. I've never taken a jet boil. And in here, I've got some fire lighters. In case I want to make a fire, a little sponge, a um, a spork that folds. That's from Decathlon. That's really handy. Um, and then, obviously, I've okay. I'll get it now. I've got the uh, the lighter bit, and I just wrap like a cloth around it so it doesn't rattle around, basically, in there. Um, so hopefully that's going to work well. And then, okay, so stuff that all back in there. And then I've got this collapsible mug for my coffee, which unfortunately is a little bit too big and doesn't quite fit in, in here. So I'm just going to have to keep it separate I'm afraid. And that is my food. Done. On to the rest of my backpack. In here, I this is my electrical equipment. So I've got this, 
which has my power pack in it. And this is just an Inu power pack that I got from Amazon. It was like 25 pounds or something. Um, but I quite like the look of it because it displays its percentage of charge on there and it's quite, it holds 20,000 something. So I think that's good. I'm debating about whether to take another one, but I'm not sure. And then I'm gonna be trying to film some of this. I've just got my GoPro kit in here. I've got my GoPro Hero 7, the chargers, four batteries, a waterproof case if I need it. Obviously some SD cards and the, the cables. And then I've also got this um, Everbeam head torch, which looks really good actually. So I'll put a link and you can check it out, but it's a USB powered one. So you don't have to worry about batteries and hopefully that lasts. That is that. And then, right, onto the, onto the base, um, onto the base kit, whatever you wanna call it. This is my tent. This is the Fox One. Um, I got this several years ago for 60 pounds off eBay. And to be honest, this tent has done me really well. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty small, it's pretty compact, it's pretty lightweight, it's about 1.58 kilos, and it's black, so it's good for stealth camping, and it's low to the ground, so I don't really need to worry about high winds or anything like that. Um, obviously, it is a very small coffin tent, so there's really not that much space. So that's the downside of this tent. Um, and I do, I do think that I wanna get myself something a bit bigger, but at the moment I haven't found anything that's as good as this in terms of like the weight and the durability and the waterproofness. Um, I know you can get super, super lightweight trekking pole tents, uh, but I'm not sure that I I, I don't know, I trust the durability at the moment. And I like this because it's a double wall tent and it never has had any condensation issues. So it's, I think it's a pretty good tent and obviously pretty compact. I don't know if you can get the, the black version, the Fox 1 anymore. You've got the Fox 1 version 2, which you can get from Go Outdoors. Um, but, yeah, you can probably find it on eBay. So I would recommend it, but just be aware that you are going to be sleeping in a coffin. So, and then, okay, here is my other sleeping equipment. I've got it wrapped up in a dry bag because this is the stuff that I don't want to get wet at all. So I've got my, my sleeping pad. This is the Trekology Aluft UL80. I think quite a few people have this, to be honest. Um, it's pretty good. Uh, it's about 40 quid on Amazon, and it's pretty thick, to be honest. So it keeps you off the ground. The only problem for me is that it's, it's pretty, it's a bit big for my small tent. So I'm thinking about getting something else, but it's, there's nothing wrong with it really. It's a really good sleeping mat. Um, I would recommend it. Uh, okay, and then I've got my pillow. Again, super lightweight. Again, got it from Amazon. Can't remember how much, but I'll put it on the screen. And then I've got my sleeping bag. So this is a brand new sleeping bag. I got this from uh, go outdoors. It's a Fathom uh, OEX Fathom EV300, and I liked it because it's a three-season sleeping bag, but it still seems to be pretty compact. Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to trying that out. It's about just over one kilos, 
and it says that it's got a comfort rating of one with a limit of minus five. And I'm not even gonna even bother telling you the extreme temperature because that's ridiculous. Um, but yeah, three season sleeping bag. I think that looks pretty good. I'm looking forward to that. So, put that over there. All right, what have we got? All right, down the back here, I've just got a trowel. Um, this is a kid's trowel because I don't have anything better at the moment. But it's pretty lightweight, that'll do. All right, what else have we got? Okay, in the, in the back, in the sleeve of the backpack, if that's what you can call it, I've got my, my washing stuff. Um, so this has got, don't need to go into details of everything, but I've got a tiny towel, I've got some toilet paper, because that is a pretty essential piece of kit. Um, some soap leaves and then I've got like you know medical stuff like paracetamol um, some some cream my inhaler uh, some plasters bandages um, and just a uh, knee support sometimes I get knee issues but basically I just pack that all up in a clear bag like that so that's my basic that's my wash bag basically um, and just as well as that, in here, I've got just some other basic essential pieces. So I've got this Sky Trail mat, which looks really, really good actually. Basically, weighs nothing. And it says that it's waterproof, so that looks really good actually. And I like to have a map on the trail, it's nice to look at something. And then here, I've just got my boarding pass and my passport. So don't worry about that. Okay, now getting to clothes really. Okay, these are a bit of a luxury for me to be honest. They are, well, slippers. So they're my evening slippers. When I get to my campsite after a long day of hiking and my feet are aching, there is nothing better than putting on these slippers. They're memory foam. So just getting some air to my feet as I walk around, put my tent up, um, just let my feet breathe a little bit. And these are so comfy, honestly. I know they take up like a bit of space in my bag, but I just love having these in the evening. It makes such a difference. And I'd rather carry these than like an extra pair of trainers or something, because they're so easy to slip on and off. And then we've got my, uh, okay, my warm evening bag. These are, again, in a dry bag because I do not want this to get wet at all because this is all, this is all stuff that goes immediately into the tent, never leaves the tent, okay? So, let's get this stuff out. We got a hat, warm hat. Brilliant, love it. And uh, some eye mask, an eye mask, um, this, I, again, it always gets so bright in the tent in the morning and I hate it. So I usually take this so I can just, I don't wake up at 4 a.m. And it's pretty good. I got it off Amazon several years ago and it's like silky smooth. Okay, so for my upper body, I've got this, um, yeah, it's a base layer just from Sports Direct. It's pretty comfy. I've got a sort of a, a thin fleece. It's it's not a big one, it's from Decathlon. But I just prefer to like layer up than wear like one big fat layer fleece, fleece layer. So there's that and obviously I've got my puffer jacket which I showed you earlier. And then if I'm still cold, I can just put on uh, my waterproof top as well. So that's like four layers, that's enough. As I mentioned, to go with my, my sandals, slippers, I've got these evening socks. So these are just for wearing around the tent. Um, 
They don't go into the tent, they just get worn out and about while I'm cooking, setting up stuff, doing whatever I need to do. Um, yeah. I've got a, some hand warmers here, just in case it's cold, in my sleeping bag so I can just chuck them in. Got some gloves, some Caramore Sports Direct, nothing fancy. Now these are Nature Hike booties. Um, I'll get one of them out so you can see. But they are like goose down booties that you wear in bed and they keep your feet nice and warm. So, you know, at the moment they just need to like fill out a bit more but they look really, really comfy. I've seen a few other YouTubers like talking about these. So I'm gonna give that a go and see what they like. Also what I like is just that they, they just stuff back into this tiny little bag and barely take up any space at all. And probably gonna make a big difference because I do get cold feet during the night. Um, luxury item here, I've got a Kindle because um, when I go to bed at night, I just like to have something to do, something that sends me to sleep. I don't want to take a, a big book, to be honest. And this obviously has a backlight behind it so I can just easily read. Um, some bed socks, these to go with my, my booties. Um, only wear them in bed, do not take them outside. That is very precious. Some pants for bed, um, some thermal thermal trousers for bed, uh, well for the evening actually, and for bed, but over those while I'm out and about I'll just put on these um, just jogging bottoms really from sports, no from Primark I think, so yeah. And then just as well as that, I've got, because I'm going to Scotland, I've got this smidge, smidge head net, which hopefully will protect me from the dreaded midges of Scotland. So that can go over there. And then we are almost done. The last thing is just the other things that I've got for the day. And then that, and that just goes in the little bag, doesn't really matter too much, but we've got a spare t-shirt, super lightweight t-shirt for hiking, pants, uh, I've just got two pairs of hiking pants and I'll just rotate them, and then two pairs of hiking socks, and these are from, these are from Decathlon and the t-shirts from Decathlon as well, so that will hopefully keep me going as I said with those I'll just rotate them as well so one could be drying out while I'm wearing the others and then I think that is basically it there we go that's all my stuff um, for six seven days of hiking um, obviously I'll need to top up my food but this is it really so I've got to put it all back in now but yeah, anyway, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. Um, please let me know what you think about my kit. Um, if it, you've got any tips, just bear in mind that, as I said before, I'm a budget backpacker. I'm not gonna be spending loads of money. Just this is the stuff that I've collected over the years and that works for me. Um, but yeah, if you've got any tips, any advice, any comments, I'd really appreciate it. Put it below. And obviously, if you want to subscribe, that'd be great. I'm hoping to do some more uh, trips like this. And maybe I'll do a few like individual kit reviews. Um, but let's see how this goes. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and see you on the next one.